words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother, Part 2, Letters on the Mother, Chapter 4, The Mother's Presence, Page 113, Topic, The Presence and the Image. Question. Is it true that when the presence or the image is seen in the heart, all the habits and movements of the lower nature disappear? Sri Aurobindo answers for this question. The image and the presence are not the same. One can feel the presence without seeing the image. But to produce the results you speak of, the presence in the heart is not sufficient. There must be presence in the whole consciousness and the force of the mother governing all the action of the nature. The next topic, the presence in front. Question. In the evening meditation, there was an intense moment of surrender from the heart. I had the feeling of mother's presence immediately in front and aspiration rose from below the feet, from the legs, from the muladhara center. There was a willing and loving surrender from the heart, from the entire being, as if for fulfillment. I suppose the psychic being came to the front. But why did I feel the mother's presence in front and not within me? Sri Aurobindo answers, you had the psychic condition then and that means a coming of the influence of the psychic being to the front. It is when there is complete psychic opening that there is the presence within. The presence in front means that it was with you but had still to enter within. Date 13-7-1937 The next topic, the presence in the heartbeats. Sri Aurobindo says, But I do not see why I call the feeling sentimental or think that your sense of the presence of the mother in the heartbeats etc. was unreal. It was your psychic being that suggested it to you and the response showed that the consciousness was ready. Mother felt that something was happening in you and felt that it was the beginning of a realization. See, she was encouraging it and did not discourage. If it had been a wrong or a vital moment, she wouldn't have felt like that. Date 13-8-1934 The next topic, the presence during the day. Sri Aurobindo says, If you feel the mother's presence for the greater part of the day, it means that it is your psychic being that is active and feels like that. For without the activity of the psychic, it would not be possible. Therefore, your psychic being is there and not at all far off. Date 14.3.19.35 Next topic, the presence during sleep. Sri Aurobindo says again, It, the feeling of the mother's presence during sleep, follows naturally the presence in the waking state, but it takes a little time. Date 11.1.1935 Question. Can one be wide awake to the mother's presence in the sleep even? Sri Aurobindo answers, that does happen but usually when the psychic is in full activity. Next topic. The presence in work. Sri Aurobindo says, it is for most people not easy to feel the mother's presence with the work. They feel as if they are doing the work. The mind gets busy and not having the right passivity or quietitude. The next topic, feeling of presence and oneness with the mother. Sri Aurobindo says there is no such necessary precedence as that first one must feel the presence and then only can one feel oneself the mother's. 
It is more often the increase of the feeling that brings the presence, for the feeling comes from the psychic consciousness and it is the growth of the psychic consciousness that makes the constant presence at last possible. The feeling comes from the psychic and is true of the inner being. It is not yet being fulfilled in the whole, does not make it an imagination. On the contrary, the more it grows, the more is the likelihood of the whole being fulfilling this truth. The inner bhava takes more and more possession of the outer consciousness and remolds it so as to make it a truth there also. This is the constant principle of action in the yogic transformation. What is true within comes out and takes possession of the mind and heart and will and through them prevails over the ignorance of the outer members and brings the inner truth out there also. Date 16.9.1936 Question. I wrote to the mother a prayer in French. Her answer to it was, Open your heart and you will find me already there. What exactly does this signify? Sure, the answers. What the mother meant was this when there is a certain opening of the heart, you find that there was always the eternal union there. That is the same that you experience always in the self above. Date 2.7.19.35 some sadhaks say that they are in union with the mother. I wonder if it is anything more than a feeling of nearness with the mother, which they sometimes have. Sri Aurobindo answers, I suppose they are trying to feel the mother's presence, so if they get some sort of feeling of nearness, they call it union. But of course, that is only a step towards union. Union is much more greater than that. Question. You wrote yesterday, openness is not reckoned merely by visions. Quite so. But to have a fusion of the rays of the sun and moon on each side of the body and to feel the descent and the mother's presence in, behind and above oneself, is it not an exceptional vision and experience? Can it occur without sufficient opening to the mother? Sri Aurobindo says, why should it be exceptional to see the sun and moon on each side or to feel the mother's presence everywhere around? There are plenty of sadhaks who have had these or equivalent experiences. What could be exceptional is to feel the mother's presence like that always. But occasional experiences like these many have had. Date 15.9.1936 Question. During meditation, I feel a sort of oneness with the mother's consciousness, but these days it is not possible to go deep in meditation at all. Is it not possible to have this feeling of oneness without meditating? For this, Shurabindo answers, what is more important is the change of the consciousness of which this feeling of oneness is a part. The going deep in meditation is only a means and it is not always necessary if the great experiences come easily without it. Date 8-4-1934 Sri Aurobindo says, writing to the mother and feeling her presence, he quotes, the feeling of the mother's presence or nearness does not depend on whether you write or you do not write. Many who write often do not feel it. Some who write seldom feel her. Always close. Date 11-6-1936 Next topic, feeling of the mother's presence. Sri Aurobindo says, the mother's presence is always there. But if you decide to act on your own, your own idea, your own notion of things, your own will and demand upon things, then it is quite likely that her presence will get real. It is not she who withdraws from you, but you who draw back from her. But your mind and vital do not want to admit that, because it is always their preoccupation to justify their own moments. 
if the psychic were allowed its full predominance this would not happen it would have felt the wheeling but it would at once have said they must have been some mistake in me a mist has risen in me and it would have looked and found the cause date 25 3 1932 shri arbindo continues to say the presence whose fading you regret can only be felt if the inner being continues to be consecrated and the outer nature is put into harmony or at least kept under the touch of the inner spirit if you do things which your inner being does not approve this condition will eventually tarnished and each time the possibility of your feeling the presence will diminish you must have a strong will to purification and an aspiration that does not flag and cease if the mother's grace is to be there and effective